Hi everyone, Pastor Jimmy at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. We're going to continue our Mother's Day study on lessons we can learn from moms in the Bible uh, today. Today we're going to be looking at the lesson we can learn in prayer, lessons in prayer that we can learn. We've seen lessons in teaching, we've seen a lesson in faith, and today we're going to look at, some le- at, a, at a lesson in prayer from a mother in the Bible. The mother we're going to look at today is Rebecca. She was the mother of Jacob and Esau, or Esau and Jacob, the twins uh, from the Bible. Jacob is the one that became Israel, and, be- and his descendants became the nation of Israel. And so we're going to look at his mother today in the importance of prayer. Genesis chapter 25, verses 22 and 23 are the verses we'll be looking at today. Genesis 25 verses 22 and 23 says, But the children struggled together within her, and she said, If all is well, why am I like this? So she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb. Two peoples shall be separated from your body. One people shall be stronger than the other, and the older shall serve the younger. As we look at the story of Rebecca today, I want to give you a quick recap of how Rebecca came to marry Isaac really quick. You see, Rebecca's life with Isaac basically started with a prayer. Uh, Abraham, Isaac's father, did not want Isaac to marry someone from the land that he was in. So he sent a servant to the land of his people. And the servant got there and he didn't know how to find a wife for Isaac. So he prayed to the Lord. He prayed to God. And Rebecca was the answer to that prayer. Rebecca was the answer to the prayer of the servant. So we see Rebecca go back to Isaac. We see her marrying Isaac. And then we see them go through a long spell. We see them go for a long time before she can have any children. And we see Isaac lifting up prayers to God. And then we see Rebecca become pregnant. We see that she doesn't know this right now, but she has twins. She's having twins. and But she's having some turmoil. Now remember, Isaac got the, the same covenant from God that Abraham had. So now we see Isaac is the one who's saying his descendants would be the one that, the, the, that would inherit the land. And so here's Isaac and Rebekah knowing this promise from God and trying to understand what's going on. And so she's having issues. She's having trouble with her pregnancy. And so she does what a lot of us don't do. She does what a lot of us can't or, or we, we forget to do. She's having trouble in her life, and it says in the Bible that she went to inquire of the Lord. What does that mean? That means that she prayed. She went and prayed before God. If you look at this, you see that even though her relationship with Isaac started with prayer, she continues this this lesson for us in prayer. When things were not going the way she thought, when things were not going the way that they should, when things didn't feel right in her life, what did she do? She went to the Lord in prayer. She went and began praying to Him. And she was like, God, something's just not right. God, something is just not right. And so we see her going to God. This turmoil that was inside of her led her to the Lord. When things were not right, she went to inquire the Lord. Imagine that. Imagine how much better all of us would be in our lives if we would do this and if we would go along and do the same thing that, that Rebecca was doing here. Imagine what it would be like in our life when troubled times come that we went to inquire of the Lord first before we went to inquire of other people. Imagine what it would be like when there are decisions that need to be made in our life if we went and inquired of the Lord first before we went and inquired of the knowledge of man. You see, Rebecca, before her children were ever born, was starting a good, a good habit in her life, inquiring of the Lord, praying before the Lord when things were not going her way. Now, later on, we'll see if you continue reading, you'll see Rebecca fall and fail, and we'll see her not inquire the Lord at times. But in this instance, we're seeing her set, set the precedent, set an example, a lesson for all of us. She went to inquire, to pray before the Lord. Why would she inquire the Lord? Well, there's a couple of reasons that she would go before Him. Number one, she went to pray to the Lord to ease her stress. She needed answers. She was stressed about what was happening with her in the pregnancy, so she went to Him. She was troubled, so she went to Him to ease her stress, to get answers. You see, taking our problems, our our concerns to the Lord, and laying them at His feet and letting Him take over gives us that peace in our life that we cannot get from anyone else or from anything else. 
The second reason she went to inquire the Lord was to get assurance. Is everything going to be okay? With all the things that are going on in our life, everything that's happening around us, a lot of times we just need to go to the Lord and say, Lord, I don't know what to do. I'm lost and I'm scared and I just need your assurance. And that's when we feel God's presence wrap his arms around us. That doesn't mean that he takes everything away from us. That doesn't mean that he takes all of our burdens away. But that means that he's picking us up and he's carrying us through these times. And we can get that peace and that assurance by inquiring of the Lord, by praying to the Lord, by going before him. You see, the Lord is the one we need to go to in our time of troubles. When we have uneasiness and tribulations in our life, we need to be like Rebecca, and we need to go and inquire of the Lord. How often do you inquire of the Lord? How often do you go and pray before the Lord? Instead of worrying and trying to take care of things yourself or going to others for advice or going to, to, to the world for your needs, can we just be like Rebecca, this lesson that this mother is teaching us, and inquire of the Lord and take all of our troubles and all of our problems and lay them at His feet in prayer? Let's try to be more like Rebecca in our lives and inquire of the Lord and pray to the Lord.